Here's a little update on where we are with Project Roots, the balcony, with the amazing view of the cabin, which is just behind me, where I am living until the Earth ship, which is kind of over there, I'll show you in a minute, is built from the ruins that were on the land. So here's the workshop. just make my way down the stairs and the solar is going in underneath here underneath the plinth that the cabin is on it's all ready and waiting for the panels <laughs> been a while so just I don't know if you can see the view again here so I'm going to take you over here and show you the ruin that is on the land which is going to be made into an earthship with the help of the Earthship Academy here in Portugal so this bit here is some old kind of animal enclosure bits which will be included and then that is the main part of the ruin so it's going to be all of that and probably an upstairs as well and it's all going to be made into an airship. So rather than having a tyre back, it's going to, we're going to use the stones from the actual ruin itself, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, the Mario from the Earthship Academy is just drawing up designs now. So I just want to take you for a little walk through the place. I don't know if you can see the big giant mushrooms, parasol mushrooms, uh, kind of there. And they're everywhere here at the moment. We've been eating a lot of them. So yeah, this is there's some more of the mushrooms. This is kind of the big terrace behind me, or one of the terraces, a big round one, um, full of eucalyptus, which will be thinned out, and we will be using it as a um, communal kind of area. This is the outdoor kitchen and awning, tents, all sorts of things that we were using in the summer, camper vans through there too, for people to stay in. Um, so obviously nobody is staying in there now. Yeah. Oh, are they? Oh, you look at that. I didn't realise we had olives on the island and I just saw loads on the floor. And that tree above me is an olive tree. And it's a beautiful, look at a beautiful old olive tree. Huh. That's pretty awesome. So here is all these big stones. We're going to plant some lovely stuff in between that. That is the outdoor shower. The bamboo is starting to sprout again that we're using for it. And this is the yurt, which is a bit damp at the moment. Um, and then beyond that is going to be like the citrus um, garden. I've already started planting a couple of trees in there. And then behind me, I don't know if you can see, behind me, that direction, is the cabin again so we'll kind of come right round the outside of the land and then this is the big round terrace still and then this terrace down here is a big straight one and that's where the teepees are going to be so if you come to stay and you come and stay in a teepee then that's where we will be and you'll have that amazing view in the background so yeah this is just a little update we've been here since the end of July so end of July, August, September, October, November, almost four months. And the land's been cleared. We've done, built, almost built, fully built the cabin. Got an outside kitchen, outside bathroom. Borehole has gone in. Water and power should be being connected up maybe this week. I keep saying that every week, but ever hopeful. And just behind me, there, that's where the borehole was um, drilled. So yeah, I thought I'd give you a little update on uh, Project Roots. 
Uh, if you have any questions or interest in coming and being on a retreat or volunteering or anything, then let us know. Ciao for now.